Since being drafted by the Green Bay Packers in 2015, Ty Montgomery has had his ups and downs on the field. But that hasn't stopped fans from falling in love with number 88. <laughs> Entering his fourth season in the NFL, Ty is looking to run through more than just the opponent's defense. Announcing his charity My 10% via Twitter on April 10th, this Packer is running to a better future for fostered youth. Here in America, there, there's a real need for um, kids to, to be able to have foundations and family. And you know, I've been seeing something you know, go across my social media you know, about equity over equality. And you know, I think it's important that these foster kids get the equity that they deserve to have a fair shot. Growing up in a home that fostered itself, this is a cause Ty holds close to his heart. Having my relationship with my foster brothers, um, that's what really drove me. I'm um, seeing the impact that uh, my mom taking them in had on them um, and us having those conversations. And you know, I don't really know where I'd be, you know, because of their faith in God, they know that they would be all right. But thinking about how different their life would have been if my mom hadn't taken them in. Ty has worked with many organizations to support fostering and adoption. It wasn't until his recent work with I Heart World that he realized there was another problem he needed to help fix. Not a lot of people talk about human trafficking, um, but you know it's very real, and it, it it doesn't always look like you know what we see in movies. The foster care system and you know, people being neglected and sold into trafficking. You know, I think that there's a connection there. There are numbers to support Ty's claim. Cases of human trafficking have been reported in all 50 states, with 70% of underage victims in the United States previously or currently a part of the foster care system. It could be happening right next door to you or right next door to a church. It could be happening in a suburb. Um, it could be happening, you know, in different types of ghettos and hoods and neighborhoods. Um, you know, it could be happening right under your nose. It could be happening to high school classmates. I mean, it, it starts so young and, you know, um, trafficked victims still live everyday lives. By raising funds and most importantly, awareness off the field, a successful season on the field could only help. You know, it was, it was, it was just a storm and going through a storm like that and coming out on the other side of the storm um, is, is always powerful and it's always something to look forward to. So I'm excited for this season. So you see the rainbow? I do, <laughs> I do. A rainbow for a better season and a better tomorrow. Delaney Bride, today's TMJ4.